Hey everybody, Cybermark here, and today I'm going to go over how to create a VM inside of Microsoft Azure using my Windows Terminal and the Cloud Shell. All right, uh, so here we go. Without further ado, let's create a resource group to start with. So AZ group create. Let's give it a location. Uh, let's go with East US 2 and give it a name the best RG. All right, so that's gonna create a resource group. And then inside of that resource group, uh, I'm going to add a VM. So let's go with AZ VM create, give it a name, the best VM. All right, the resource group that we just created, which was the best resource group. All right. And we're going to use Ubuntu for our image. Ubuntu LTS. All right. And let's do a tac tac verbose so we can see some additional output. All right. So we'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And I'll let Azure spin on that for a little bit. It's going to automatically drop some SSH keys for me inside of my default SSH directory to use. So we'll use those keys to remotely access this VM once it's created. All right, um, so let's talk about the concept of a resource group. Resource groups in Azure are the buckets, if you will, or, or containers of um, all the different parts of a resource that you can have. So for example, you'll have your networking in a specific resource group, your virtual machines in a resource group. You can put Azure functions in a resource group as well. Um, that didn't take very long to spin up. So there we go, it ran in about 33 seconds. So let's go ahead and connect to it. So let's try this out. Let's SSH into my VM, which the IP address is there. Let me copy that. So and mark at that IP address and let's see what happens. Do you want to authenticate? Let's go with yes. All right. And we have some output here on the screen. You can see it's in Ubuntu 18.04. And here's some stats when I first log in. And there you go. My prompt is mark at the best VM. And that is essentially it. So uh, I can list out things. There's nothing in this directory. Let's uh, run a PS, get a process list. I can run W to see who's logged in, right? It's just me. That's where I'm coming from. All right, so let's go ahead and exit. So that connection is closed. So I'm back. Once I had typed exit, you can see that now I'm back at my Azure Cloud Shell. And I want to stop that VM. So let's go with AZ. Before we do that, let's get some stats, right? So let's do AZ um, VM list and just hit enter. This gives me a bunch of JSON output, which is kind of hard to go through. So let's format that as a table. So TAC O for output and let's do table. And that's a little bit better to see. So you can see that I have, let's run that again one more time. You can see that I have a VM called the best VM it's in this resource group, and that's it's in East US2. Essentially it, right? So let's go ahead and kill the uh, the VM. Go ahead and stop it, rather. So I'm going to do AZ VM stop tac N for name, the best VM. And let's do a dash dash verbose. Enter. Oh, I need to give it the resource group, so... Let's go with tag G for group, <clears throat> excuse me. And that was uh, the best resource group. That's a little bit better. About to power off, specified VM. I'm gonna use this one later, but it kind of gives us a message here that uh, it'll continue to be built. And the reason why is because this VM has a storage disk associated with it. So that is why it will continue to be built because I am still provisioning uh, that disk storage for the VM in the cloud. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that is essentially it for how to 
start a VM, or I'm sorry, rather, create a resource group, create a VM in that resource group, remotely log into it, and then stop it. All right, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, remember to like and subscribe. And like I say always, just get out there and try it, all right? I ran this scenario a couple times as I was preparing for this video, and that's really all it is, is just try stuff out, and you'll get better. Thanks. Bye.